extent that we can take blank surface parking lots and turn them into something mixed use, dense, vibrant, uh, with capital uh, investment and job creation, we feel like that's a good thing for, uh, for the city. For years, the former site of the state Supreme Court in downtown Knoxville has been an empty building with a parking lot. Well, next week, city leaders take up a proposal to change all of that. The old court center is at the intersection of Cumberland Avenue and Locust Street. Redevelopment plans call for transforming that entire block. 10 News reporter Grant Robinson spoke with the developer who says as soon as he closes the deal with the city, the changes will take place pretty quickly. Grant. Robin, the city has owned the property since 2005 and it's been sitting empty for longer than that. But on Tuesday, city council will vote to let the redevelopment plans for that site move forward. The marble's been busted, the flagpole rusted, but the old Supreme Court building is close to coming back to life. Last year, the city selected Rick Dover's company to redevelop the site. Today, they're studying the traffic and environmental impact of the project. And next year, the face of the downtown block will start to change forever. It just basically plays on the theme of what's been going on downtown. But to the extent that we can take blank surface parking lots and turn them into something mixed use, dense, vibrant, uh, with capital uh, investment and job creation. Conceptual design submitted in April call for restoring the courthouse building, adding a hotel, parking garage, and a mixed-use building with residential and retail. Nover says the hotel will be unlike anything Knoxville has seen. It won't be some national chain, but will be an independent hotel that guests book through Airbnb. We're excited about bringing that concept to Knoxville. Nobody's ever done it. It's in some major urban markets, but it's not in ours. The price tag on the project tops $80 million. Once Dover and the city close on the property, the development has 12 months to start construction. Yet even with rising interest rates and construction costs, Dover says the project will be ready to go. It won't take that long, but uh, hopefully we'll get everything in place. All those dominoes will fall where they need to be, where we can close and then get started right away. Now, right now, the development firm is working on architectural drawings and engineering. Construction is expected to take about three years. Robin. All right. Thanks for the update, Grant. A downtown landmark has a new owner. Restaurant operator Dave.